I want to know how many hours do you first have? Did it take a long time? Yes, sir. A little bit. That was great. That's an original. Absolutely. Very good. Come on, let's just talk. How'd you come up with the idea? Um, well, I was, uh, one day we were having free time in um, my fifth period class, and Mr. Banks was my teacher. So um, since it was free time, I thought that I should rap, and he heard me rapping since I was on the robotics team. He thought that it would be a nice idea for us to rap as our presentation. Very good, very good. And the process that is, how did you choose that? Well, we we a lot of decisions we had to choose between, so we just voted on which one we wanted. The what were the other options? Um, what did you choose over? Um, we choose over, um, like, we choose over, like, 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 limbs and all that stuff, and then, um, about, like, you know how some prosthetic has names, like screws? Mm -hmm. And, like, we were thinking of how long jacks, uh, with prosthetics make, don't make, like, the screws, like, Shake and come loose. Mm -hmm. And also, how to keep rust from prosthetics. That's another thing that we thought of, but since probably the prosthetics and the way they fit on, and sometimes how you get too big and they can be too small, and sometimes you're too small and they can be too big, how they can have a perfect shape and the definite fit. So, let's talk a little bit about that as far as your research, um, the difficulties associated with wearing the prosthetics. You talked about some of them. Are there other things you can skin diseases at around the prosthetic stone. If you would put your prosthetic on in the stone, the prosthetic would give you like skin diseases. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about your special pads so it wouldn't give you like bruises and stuff. And is that due to sweat? Is that like about the pads that part of it too? The pads also absorb the sweat. And we thought about sham wilds too, but instead we came up with a disposable medicated foam pads. Mm -hmm. uh, Arnica gel was the medic, and we decided we could put in it. It helps uh, heal bruising quicker and keeps it from bruising. Um, any, how about anything in particular as far as when you say prosthetic, you typically think um, a little bit of dry arms and like that sort of thing. How about anything else other than those body parts? Sometimes they have bionic hearts. Pardon? I've heard of bionic hearts actually being implanted. Mm -hmm. Mainly feet, arms, and legs, hands, things like that. You know, it seems to me that you have, uh, from the knee down, or maybe even from the femur down, would be easier than from the Thank you. 
thought of like, you know how a trombone has to let spit out? Well, we thought of putting that in the prosthetic. Anything else? You can think of it alone. So we um, came up with another idea. The medicated disposable foam pad was going to be right here where the wound was going to be at the bottom of the leg and around here was going to be foam and we we're going to have some foam around the edges so when they grasp onto the leg, it won't make marks. So it won't be that painful when they walk. I have a question for you. You see all these soldiers coming back from the war and they've lost legs and so forth. Um, do they have to wait until their wounds are completely healed? Before prosthetics is even an issue? No, sir, because the doctors can take excess skin and actually fold it around and make a stump. Mm -hmm. So they're able to be mobile for the fully healed. Yes, sir, because that's all they need. Because um, most battlefield doctors can also do it uh, uh, be able to do that and make like a crew prosthetic mm -hmm. where they can get home. Mm -hmm. What about um, from an emotional point of view? Do you any research on that about how people would deal with the whole civil war? The few websites that had um, people's lives that were laid over there. And a lot of people get their prosthetics and they don't wear them when they come in the closet and they sit up and collect dust because they're uncomfortable to wear. He barely has like money to get prosthetic, and um, I guess he's gonna stop doing this hobby. I think that the biggest thing for me is when you see someone who's had a prosthetic, maybe even both like, and you see this tremendous popular attitude, it, it kind of tells me, wow, I can do anything. If they can maintain a positive attitude going through a situation like that, come out a popular person, and maybe even a very successful person in life, then how much easier do we really have it, right? It's something to think about, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, one story that comes to mind, I read it about a commander of a, of a battleship who, where they um, carry him, where they launch the aircraft, and he just, he was the kind of guy that just preached safety. And he was very, very close to retirement, and uh, he was on the deck, and he stepped in front of the catapult. And instantly took off both of his legs and fell to the ground. And so, in heartbeat, accidents can happen, right? He was an avid golfer and is playing golf today on prosthetic legs. So, just my point is, you can be so careful in life, but if you're standing in the wrong spot at the wrong time, you're really, really bad. So, you've got to be careful. Right? But at the same time, if bad things do happen, attitude is from within to it. Absolutely. You can really come in. Anything else for us? Wonderful. You guys did a great job. Thank you. Great presentation. Thank you. Thank you.